Hey, how's it going, everyone? What is up? Welcome back to the channel and my top five what the f <laughs> moments from One Division Episode Seven. So, if you guys are uh, been around the channel for a little bit, this might be a little bit new to you, but this is something I used to do a long time ago, and these new Marvel shows have gotten me back into it. So, we're gonna start this series back up for all the Marvel series coming out, uh, all the TV shows that we're getting into to do with superhero, uh, you know, stuff, and even the movies that are coming out. So, stay tuned for all of that. Don't worry, we're gonna continue the Mortal Kombat and fighting game stuff. But this is something fun that I used to like to do. So without further ado, we're going to jump into my top five what the f moments of WandaVision episode seven. Let's go. So number five, Vision finds out the truth. So in last episode, we saw, you know, the whole thing with the hex, uh, Vision going outside of it, locking eyes with Darcy, them coming to an understanding between uh, eye contact. And we saw Vision basically being ripped apart. We know that he can't go outside the hex or he falls apart uh, thanks to whatever Wanda is doing to keep him alive. So when Wanda expanded the hex, of course, Darcy got brought into it. You know, Vision was right there with Darcy. He opens her mind up. He frees her from Wanda's powers, her mind control powers, and she tells him the truth about everything, about Thanos, about everything that went down in Infinity War and Endgame. So, Vision is back up to speed. He knows what's going on, even though he doesn't remember it himself. He even says, you know, it feels like it happened to someone else. Uh, but, you know, it, it just happened to Wanda a few weeks ago. So, I thought that was really cool. Vision's finally up to speed. He knows what's going on. The number four moment is, holy shit, it's Photon or Pulsar. Uh, I think they're probably going to go with Photon uh, for this hero. But as we saw, Monica Rambo pushed her way through the hex, went through all the layers. We get to hear the Captain Marvel uh, speaking in the background. We get to hear, you know, when they were handing out kids, they gave your mom the strongest one. And then her eyes light up like blue. And then she breaks the rest of the way through the barrier. And we see her eyes, you know, they light up blue. And even her powers don't seem uh, Wanda's powers don't seem to fully work on Monica Rambo now. It seems like she was able to hit the ground, got like a little shock wave. Uh, so that was pretty cool. We finally got a new superhero introduced in WandaVision. And uh, I really like Monica Rambo's character. I liked her mom's character in uh, Captain Marvel and little known like Easter egg in that. Um, from that, when we see WandaVision uh, at the start when Monica Rambo is walking through the facility for the first time and it goes to the plaque of her mom, her mom's nickname was Photon. So uh, I think that's how they'll tie her superhero name into it. We'll see. But it's really cool to actually see this character getting that backstory. And number three. Agatha. Agatha has finally been revealed. I think from like what episode 2 or 3 we knew something weird uh, was up with Agnes. Like she just kind of knew what was going on and she wasn't like fully mind controlled like everyone else. Everyone everyone kind of knew something was up with her. Uh, especially with her always talking about Ralph, her husband who is like never around and never seen. Even though everybody else uh, who's mentioned is there. Ralph has been the one who hasn't been and I think that leads into probably my next uh what the fuck moment uh but the fact that they finally introduced agatha in this episode is amazing it's fucking sick i can't wait to see what they're actually going to do with this character and how they'll play it into the end and like the big villain of the show uh but it's definitely very interesting because agatha is like she's a, a vital part of wanda's history of scarlet witch's history all the way back to her having the twins uh, so I'm very interested to see what they do with this character. She outed herself. She is now known a bad guy and it seems like she is just as powerful as Wanda. Number two, Pietro was controlled. So this has been the running theory since, um, you know, Fox or whatever the hell else, Quicksilver was introduced a few episodes ago. We knew that he wasn't acting right. You know, we knew that he was acting a little bit weird. He wasn't acting like the Fox Quicksilver and he wasn't acting like the MCU Quicksilver. He was acting weird as hell. Uh, and so that was finally revealed. It was finally revealed that uh, Agatha was controlling him. Uh, to what extent, we don't really know because at the end of the episode he kind of just shows up and says you know snooper's gonna snoop uh to monica rambo so i'm very curious to see what they're actually doing with him my theory on it and i've seen a lot of other theories is that pietro that version of pietro is the bad guy uh is mephisto or nightmare or whoever the hell else i think they're pretty solidly like I i'm pretty solid in thinking that they're gonna go with mephisto uh but it's very cool very interesting i'm very curious to see what the hell is going to be going on with that version of Pietro, whether it is Mephisto or not, or whether he's being completely, completely controlled by Agatha, but I really do think he's the villain. 
And then the number one what the fuck moment from episode 7 of WandaVision is Wanda isn't in control. It is pretty much explained, uh, in- Explained without explaining, uh, explaining, like, it is pointed out that she is not in control. It's been Agatha and whoever is with Agatha this whole time. From all the way back in episode 1, we see that she is pulling strings, that Agatha is pulling strings. And in, the, in this episode, it is pretty much drawn out from the beginning, uh, drawn to a conclusion in the beginning, that Wanda is losing control or never had control to begin with of the hex completely so i'm very interested to see what the hell they're going to do next on episode eight with them dropping a reveal like uh agatha in episode seven i'd say it's just going to keep rolling and rolling and rolling uh and lead up to the big conclusion i don't think there's going to be any more slow episodes in this um to get into the review part of this epi uh, of this video uh the episode was great we got some good reveals we got uh, a new superhero being born you know agatha was outed we got the reveals for px Vision finally knows what the hell is going on. It was a good episode to me. It was a great episode. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm really enjoying this show as a whole. Episode 1 through 3, they were really good. And then episodes like 4 through 7 now, they are fucking amazing. I can only imagine how above and beyond they're going to go with episode 8, 9, and 10, I believe. I think there's going to be 10 episodes. Uh, but I'm really excited to see what happens. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I want to know what you guys thought about the episode. Did you enjoy it? What did you think about the Agatha reveal? A reveal what did you think about everything else i'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say leave those comments down below but that's going to do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video my name is tootin i've been your host and i'll see you guys next time peace out